Meltwater is one of the four fee systems that we'll be using in our course. Uh, this is the login screen at app.meltwater.com. When you enter that, you will be taken to a page. It's actually called the home page. And you'll see over here on the left, there's a home. Mine has a system put together because I built a dashboard to monitor electric vehicles. And so you're seeing that as you go forward, one of the dashboards you'll make will become your home page. Then if you go and look on the left-hand side, there's a whole series of icons. There's home, inbox, dashboards, influencers, search, tags, the keyword type things, outputs, PR insights, and then there are settings. And these are all built around the idea of a search. So if you'll go down to the icon here that says search, you click on it, and it takes you to your team search criteria that you've established. Now, the way that this works, this system is a little bit different than uh, Salesforce. What you have here is that there's two things you have to do. You can search news, or if you click on the down arrow, you can search social. And so what happens is, if, like if you notice for electric cars, I have one for social, one for news. Elon Musk, just one. Uh, Lanthrop News, I have both Lanthrop Social and Lanthrop News, and then I have Middle for one. And so, what's going to happen is when you create a search, it will give it a name, and you have to tell it whether you want social or whether you want news. Before we actually create one, let's look at Medill. This is the basic structure of the of the system. You have, first off, all these keywords. So if I took all the keywords that are in the least at least one and put them in here, a tweet or whatever the document is would have to say Medill Northwestern Journalism IMC Marketing in order to form a criteria. What I like to do is to put in the key term, and then I put all the possible things I might want to look for in the at least one of these keywords. And so look at your keywords, your keyword searches and things and start looking at that. What you then have is also none of these keywords. That's that exclusion term. And you can have no matching, exact match, or only match capital letters for, for capital letter sensitivity. What you do is you put in a series of criteria, and it will automatically populate this, this area down below. And I can look at content or the influencers that are a part of that content. And so what I'm looking for is Medill Journalism School, but you see I'm getting some uh, some modern healthcare, a couple people from that. And so what you'd want to do is you want to go down here through these the articles and just look at them and make sure that they're what you want. If they're not what you want, if they put in something that is going to take you off to the side, scroll up and put whatever keyword you have in none of these to eliminate it. Then you go back over here to the left to update the search results, and it'll do it. And so basically the whole system is designed to do this. And so if I want to, I say, well, let's say I want to put in media to add another criteria. I simply put it in. It will go through and redo the poll. And at the top here, you see that it has given me some keywords. It's been looking through news articles, and these are keywords I might want to add. If you find one that you wanted to add, you just drag and drop it into wherever you want to make it work. For the more advanced people, you can also put it out as Boolean logic to, uh, you know, to, to if you're really into doing that, that works really well. And then you can also filter it. One of the filters you can do is to look at a specific area of the world, okay, which is a quick way to do it. Or if you click on Create New, you actually have lots of detailed filters. I can filter by source, you know, as to where the news comes from. Remember, this is a news site. I can do it by location, and I can do it nationally or, or state by state, or I can do it country by country. I can do it by language. I can do it by reach percentile. In other words, how, how much authority power do these people have? I can cite, find a specific source. I can just do an RSS feed, sorry, RSS feed, or I could add other criteria. And so it allows you to hone down 
into the mark that you want. When, you've, when you're satisfied with what you have here, you click on Save, and it will save the results. And then I'm going to go back to the search, which I could either do by clicking on the search here or on the search icon on the left. And so now what I'm going to do is I need to have a new one. I need to have a social one for Medill. So when I hit the search, it's now going out and trying to find all the things that are related to search. Okay, and you notice it's given me some things like professor and things like that. So if I wanted to use professor, I'll slide it in there. I'll put Northwestern. IMC Journalism Media and so forth. And as I go through, it is now pulling together all those different criteria. I can do the same thing in terms of looking at it. I can exclude. I have all the capabilities to refine it as much as I want. And now what I can do is save it. And it asks me the name, so I'm going to call this Medill Social. And so now it's saving the criteria that I have. And so now you see I have Medill, which is the news story, and Medill Social out there. So now what I want to do is I want to go over to the left-hand side and scroll up to the dashboards. I'm going to click on Dashboards. Now it's going to load the dashboards I already have, which is the electric car one that you saw. But now I want to make a new one. So I go to this button down in the lower right-hand corner and click on it. And it's going to say, what sort of dashboards do you want? You can create whatever you want. Let's do a dashboard for monitoring. So I say, build the dashboard. The primary search will be Medill News. The secondary search, it doesn't matter which way you do this, will be Medill Social. And uh, for the name, I'm going to call this one Medill Analysis. Then I hit Create the Dashboard. What it's going to do is it's going to put together a generic dashboard of the different things that are being discussed. What you have are content streams from both sources. One's news and one is, is from social. Over here I have media exposure. In other words, how often is it discussed? I have trending themes where I can go in. I can actually change this to make it a, a more traditional word chart. But it'll give me that. It tells me the sentiment score, positive and negative, from each source. I can look at top Medill locations, and then I can also do the top sources. And they have a whole lot of other reports you can do. And so if you want to, you can go up here to the little gear icon and click on it. And you can add widgets. And it works a lot like um, uh, Salesforce. Over here are all my widgets that I can do. And so maybe I'd like to do a... Uh, Share a voice. You click on it. It tells you it's supported by everything, which is good. And you click on Add to Dashboard. It will now give me settings. So I, I said, well, for this one, I want it to pull Medill. And I want it to go down to Social Searches and pull Medill Social. And once I'm good with that, I click Update. And what it's going to do is it's going to add that down here for the share of voice. And then I can modify it in the upper uh, right-hand corner with different options. And so what this allows you to do is to look at the social side and the news side. I could create a dashboard just for news or just for social and pull things together. And it allows you to get a really good overview of different topics. For uh, my clients... I like to build one for the competition, so I'm going to look for specific terms in the products and services of the competitors, um, For and, and I'll also do one on the key topics that are of interest to them. I'll also track their company. You, for um, you know, what you get it going out to find a job, you can use one to create dashboards to monitor companies you're interested in. 
uh, people that you're interested in following. So it has a lot of different applications. When you're done, you go to the upper right hand corner, log out, and away you go. Um, you know, I'm just going to leave the page. So the key is what happens is the whole system is designed to give you access to a lot of information. You're, you have an unlimited account, so you can use it for whatever you want and have some fun with it. It's very flexible, very easy to use, very easy to modify. And so you're as you're honing your way in on uh, getting some insights about your client, it's a really good tool to use.